Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, this is a new week, praise God. Listen, God is set to do amazing things in your life in this month of September. Trust me, He, He, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. He has been doing a whole lot and establishing his kingdom on the earth. And if you are a child of God, you will, you will see growth. Now he told us, contend earnestly for the faith that was once delivered. See, listen, everything that have challenged your faith this month, this season, rise up to it and win in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Contend for that faith. Believe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you ready for us to call for that delivery? Now, that's one of the things you must contend for. He said, you've got daily bread to receive. Jesus said, we should ask, give us this day our daily bread. Meaning, the Father has daily bread for you. Now, what does that mean? Daily provisions. So, God wants to meet your need on a daily basis. Believe Him. Believe Him. That's what he said. Believe him. And let's call for our daily bread. Now, are you ready? So join me right now and say with me, say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Expect a miracle today. Now, let's pray for today's broadcast. Father, we honor you today. You are our glory, you are the lifter up of our heads. Thank you for your word that is coming forth today. It is because of your love that you give us your word. And we receive that word in truth. And I declare right now every body is lifted, every yoke is destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Turn your Bibles with me to Hebrews chapter 1. Now, we are still dealing with what the Lord commanded us, contending for the faith that was once delivered to us. So I want us to look at something this week and as we trust the Spirit of God to teach us Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. He says, faith is the substance. Now, some translations say the assurance or the confirmation. Now, he says, faith is the substance now meaning faith is a substance i'm sharing this truth with you because i i realize um i, I did a series on this some time back in in our, in our fellowship meeting i thought on it and i realized that a lot of people still don't understand what faith is and, and the lord is staring in my heart to do this series on it and I trust the Holy Spirit to help us. What is faith? You know, if you don't know what faith is, you will still be assuming you are walking by faith, but you are not. Now look at this, it says, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that are yet to be seen. Now first of all, he says, it is the substance of your hope, meaning you first of all have hope. 
So you hope for something. So now then he says, the substance of that thing you are hoping for is faith. The evidence of that thing you have not seen yet is your faith. So there is no faith until you can point to the substance. If there is no substance, you are only hoping. See, you are hoping for whatever you're hoping for. You know, you, you're hoping for, um, I want to get a car, for example. Now, I've used this example many times. You want to get a car. So, now, that is your hope. You are hoping that you get a car at this time or at the end of the year or by next year or whenever you choose. That's your hope. Now then you say, okay, if I want to get a car, because I'm hoping to get a car because I need to be driving a car. Now, I have this amount of money and if I'm able to save this amount of money from my salary, which is paid, I'm paid this much in the organization I work in. If I'm able to save this amount of money every month, at the end of the year, I should be able to buy a car. So he said, all right, I know what to do. Then you go to the bank, you instruct them, look, every month, the moment my salary hits the account, Take out this amount, put it in a special account for me, for my savings, because I want to buy a car. And now that your hope in buying a car doesn't have substance until you put substance to it. So someone just comes and says, I want to get a car at the end of the month. So how are you going to do it? I don't know. I just want to have a car. Now he's hoping but if the, you don't add substance to your hope, it will turn out to be a wishful thought. Listen to me now. But when you begin to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I have this money saved. I'm going to convert that savings into my car project. And then every month, I have instructed the bank that once my salary hits, they move this amount of money into the savings account that I'm saving for the car. Now you have added substance to that hope and that substance now is what is called faith. So you are saying now that every month, see that, that whole thing you put in to getting a car, all those things, those measures now you begin to put in getting a car becomes your faith. But you see, now you are having faith in your own ability to get a car. So if you are having faith in your ability, then the works of your faith will be demonstrated in that your same ability. So that's why, because first of all, you've got a job too. You have the savings already. So you are putting all that into getting a car, which is your hope. All those stuff become the substance of your hope, which is faith. And they also become your evidence that you get a car that you have not seen. You see? So, I'm going to get a car at the end of the month. Huh? How do you going to get a car at the end of the month? You will see now. You know, I earn this much. I'm going to save this much from how much I earn every month. And then I'll add it to this savings that I have. And I'll get a car. The car is this much. The car costs this amount of money. By the time I have, the person say, oh, I see. What did the person see? The person didn't see the car. But the person saw your evidence that the car that you have not seen is a possibility. And that's what faith is. Now, you can have faith in your job. Because before you make this kind of plans, first of all, you've got a job. You have a relationship with your job that at the end of the month, they will pay you your salary on time. And then you are going to continue working in that place. And that's what faith is. 
Are you getting this now? Now, but this is faith in your job. You can have faith in something else. You can have faith in your relationship with someone. Okay, I want to get a car. How am I going to get a, get a car? Look, I'm tired of trekking. I'm tired of, you know, taking buses or taking cabs, whatever. I'm just tired. I want to get a car. I want to own my own car. Okay, so how are you going to own your own car? You know what? I've got an uncle that have over 30 cars. And most of these cars he's not using. In fact, some of them stay there and they rot away. They really, yeah. I'm going to walk up to him and I'm going to tell him I need a car. Come, come on. Instead of letting those cars rot, he should give me one. Now, before you take that step, you see, now you, you are hoping to get a car. Now, the substance of that hope becomes this thing now that you're saying. I'm going to go to my uncle or to my aunt or my relative. He's got this much of car. Now you have the knowledge, you have the relationship with that person. You have the knowledge that it is, there is a great possibility that, that that person has the means actually to give you a car. And then you based on your relationship with that person, you said, I'm going to take the step of getting a car from this person. Now that becomes your substance of your faith. But this time around, your faith is in your relative. Your faith is in your uncle or whoever the person is. See? So now all those measures you put in place, okay, um, I'm going to call him on Saturday. Then I'm going to visit him. I'm finding out if he's in town. If he's in town on Saturday, I'm going to visit him. Now, those become the substance of your faith. Because looking at those substance, you can see the end possibility of getting a car. Now, in these two examples I've shared with you, there is not one that is just wishful thinking. You, you, you have your hope. My hope is to get a car. But then you now add substance to that hope. Okay, this and this and this and this. Based on this, I'm going to get the car. You have added substance. You have added the evidence of the car that you have not seen. Now, Jesus tells us, have faith in God. Why? Because Man can disappoint you, but God will never disappoint you. Now, but then, what does it mean to have faith in God? It means the same thing. He says, what is faith? Substance. Have substance in God. Your substance of things you hope for must be in God. So, I want to buy a car. What will be my substance if my faith is in God? I'll tell you. I want to buy a car now. So what do I do? First of all, I work on my relationship with God. I take advantage of that relationship. How do I take advantage of that relationship? I go before the Lord and say, Lord, I want to get a new car. I, I need to know your mind concerning this. This is my desire. I want to get a new car. Now, you are relating with God because there is an established relationship with him already. And, and the more you look at it, the more you pray about it, soon you will begin to, you will begin to hear or the picture will begin to form in your mind. You see, that's how God works. The picture will begin to form in your mind and say, okay, I'm beginning to see sometimes, you see, you might, the picture might even be the specific kind of car. You will just see a car one day, it, it just registers in your spirit that this is the car I'm going to get. Now, what are you doing? See, so you, you just, you know, then you just know, like, uh, 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 this is the car I'm going to get. And then you come to someone and say, I'm going to get a Mercedes, you know, stuff. And... Now, all that become the substance of the car that you are hoping for. Now, there is a relationship that you know you have with God. It's not just an assumed relationship. I remember, you know, you know someone, a friend of mine, he, you know, one time, um, he, he came over to my house. And the moment he came over to my house, I said, hey, 
I saw you driving a Mercedes Benz, you know, last night or, or some nights ago. And then he screams, said, whoa, he, he called the people that were, come, 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 come here, come here, Pastor, please, can you say that again? I said, I saw you driving a Mercedes Benz. And then, now, I had seen that in a vision. A few, maybe the night before, or a few nights before that, if I saw him physically. And then he said that they were discussing because he wanted to get another car. Because they were discussing and saying, he said he wanted to get a message. And everybody was trying to discourage him about getting a message. So he's just at that state of confusion now. And then he, here he comes and says, me saying, I saw him driving a message. Right. Now that became the substance of the message that he's hoping to get. Because at that point, he knew that means this is the car God wants me to own, a Mercedes-Benz. So it became the substance of what he was hoping for. Now, everything we do with God, you've got to have substance. Without substance, brothers and sisters, it is no fit and my time is up. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, I bless you today. These teachings, Holy Spirit, will carry us into a realm of faith and manifestation that we've never walked in before. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Have the best day ever. Bye.